the home of the county's Manukau Steelers ITM Cup team, Bayer Grove Stadium is in Pukekohe, south of Auckland. It's the venue for this match. This game really could go either way. Both squads are packed with talent and experience. Justin Marsham is with me here. We should have a cracking game of rugby coming up, Justin. Yeah, no doubt about it. There's a bit of a buzz around the stadium as we wait for things to get going. Well, I'd expect a close one here. It may come down to one mistake or a moment of brilliance to swing it one way or the other. And in no time at all, the game will be underway. The first 5-8 kicks off. Loose ball snapped up by Pma. It's been brought back for the scrum. Let's watch here. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. Touch. Gungu puts it in. So far, the defence has been holding out really well. It was a powerful scrum. Now flicks it to Custom. He's got no one left to beat. He'll surely score. Now we're looking at the replay for the build-up to the try. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. It almost looked pre-planned. set for the conversion. The number 10 now with the conversion and he's not about to take this kick for granted. Away to the right. Yeah, it wasn't a great angle to work with, was it? The restart from Rose. The kickoff fielded by Powell. Look at him go, what a run. <laughs> Levy claims it. Picked up by Tuilani. Oh, good man. Oh, here's a penalty. Definite penalty, Nisbo, but the ref kept the cards in his pocket. He didn't think it was deliberate. We'll have a look here. He clearly went above the chest. The ref was right to call it. Rose will look to find touch. Whoops, he's not got that out. Gathered there by Pelk. The back rower did well though, didn't he? It was a very good catch under pressure. The number four stretching up. Good clean line out. And it's important to get good quality ball like that. Pick and go by Kmai. And it's gone across the touchline. So this is a line out. I think they've taken a lot of confidence out of the way they played the game so far. Popmeyer gets it. He gets the offload to Gungu. And taken finally. Back it goes now for Kruger. Goodbye. Flicks a little one to Kasten. Snapped up by Tuilangi. Ni'i Palu is absolutely smashed. 
Mai shows great strength to get through that one. The front rower shows his pace. The defence, their line speed defensively was below average. Advantage. And a knock-on. Referee playing advantage here. The number six, I think it might have been, who lost it in the tackle. The number 14 has support with him. He's very close, looking for the corner. That try was worth the price of any entry ticket. The number 14, what a way to run in a try, and he's executed it very well. Exceptional skill, superb try. He is a player of some promise. And we're ready for the conversion attempt. Not the easiest of kicks here, but looking to convert this five-pointer into seven. This one's drifting away, so the try remains unconverted. That's a wide angle to kick from there. Not surprising to see he missed. Kickoff is made. The number 12 snaps up the kickoff. Breaks through. The number 2 still going. The number 15 with a nice run. There's no one near him. It's a certain try. Dives for the line and he's in. Well, they were never going to catch him, and that's a brilliant try. Wonderful. And I think that's what they need to just keep doing. Now this is the sequence leading up to the try. You can see his pace here. It is remarkable. No one could catch him. But it was a great pass that set him up. We've got the kick still to come. Conversions don't come much easier than this. No trouble with that. Two more points. Pretty solid advantage for them in this game now. Rose gets us going again. Kick off nicely taken in by the scrum half. And this time he's taken. Feeds it off to the open side flanker. And he's driven backwards now. It's a perfect opportunity that they can ill afford to miss out on, really. Delivers the ball to Blevy. And the penalty goes against the second five. Oh, yeah, that was a high one, and he's lucky to get away with just a penalty. Let's have a look at this. Good spotting by the referee. It was definitely high, that tackle. Flutie with the kick. Kick looks good. And they are on the board. What a wide angle to kick from. Really good finishing by Flutie. So the kickoff is made. The kickoff down to Mai. With a little flick up to number four. The wayward pass there. And over the sideline. And that's a line-out. Ten on their side of halfway. <laughs> the 
The number five takes it nicely. I think it was a very good line out. Good execution from the number five. It's a good take by the number five. It's his pass off to the captain. Best has got a bit of room here and off he goes. Tackled now after a good run. Now it's off to the number 15. He's broken the tackle apart. Here's the replay. Here's the scrum. Their scrum has been superior, so they'll be looking to put a lot of pressure on. And they're doing a great job of it so far. They look pretty pleased with themselves after that scrum. So their scrums have been pretty good. Good offload. The lock gets to run a bit. That's the 22 metre line. Well, if they can't improve their defence, they'll be in danger of losing this match. That pass finds Zim. That's gone to no one. Kruger dives after the loose ball. Passes for Zim. Back inside to the lock. That tackle hasn't slowed him down. Tackled by Tuilangi. Good turnover ball. I think their ability to retain possession is just letting them down at the moment. Oh, and it's lost forward. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. Let's look at this replay. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Touch. Pause. Pick And the scrum fed by Gungu. And a good battle going on here. Ball is out now. Halfback takes the ball. They really have been dominant at scrum time, haven't they? The number 10 stretches his legs. Gives it out to the number 12. The number 14 dives and collects it. The second rower, lovely tackle. It's slow coming out of there. Halk picks it out of the back. The number 11 gets a sudden burst of speed. And he's tackled into touch. Bit of an untidy match so far, Justin. Let's take a look at the stats. Penalties conceded will be high on the list of concerns. Far too many were given away in that half. They've been explosive at scrum time. So, this game is certainly captivating when you look at it that way. We'll see how the next 40 minutes pans out. We're almost ready for the second half now. Referee looks ready. Second half about to get underway. Here's the kickoff from Rose. There's a knock on there. Knock on by Custom. So, ref playing advantage. He wasn't quite on the timing there, and it just consequently went through his hands. Pesamino, he will surely score. Now the advantage is gone. They have a chance here. They may look to go to a set piece. Maul is locked in now. The ball there with Mai. Now the pass to Tuilangi. And forward pass. And we'll just have a look at this. Let's see how the scrum responds here. Well, they do have the ability to hold the scrum well, Nisbo. So we'll see how they go here. Good pushing from both teams.
Here's a chance. They'll be looking to convert this into points. Great pass to the left winger. Oh, and he's almost there. He's been taken out of play there. The line-out claimed against the throw. Now it's Moe. His run has taken him right to the try line here. Sends it out to Tuilangi. The number 11 charges towards the try line. The number four in the corner. This was brilliant work. Everything they did in the lead-up was very well executed. Just check the build-up in the replay here. The centre, looking to convert the try here. Well, it doesn't get much tougher than this as he tries for the extra two right out by the sideline. He comes off the post and bounces wide. Even the best of them miss from that wide out, so he won't be disappointed with that. And the kickoff is made here. The kickoff snapped up by Best. And he's too strong for Zip. The number two stops him now. Delivers the pass out to Rose. And the ball is popped free. Yes, that's a loose ball there, Nisbo, but no knock on. Oh, that's a shocker. Tuilangi snaps it up. My, it's inside the 22. The number four thumped into the ground. A good opportunity here. They'll definitely want to turn this into points. Cut out ball from Rose. Flat pass goes to Tungi Thakambao. Pesamino running away. It'll be a try for sure. And he scores out near the sideline. He certainly knows how to score the tries, this guy, doesn't he? Excellent work to get another in quick succession. He's doing a really, really good job. So, here's the try again. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away, and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. Here's the kick from Flutie. You can feel the tension amongst the fans as he lines the kick up. No goal. Scores remain as they were. Not an easy angle to kick from, but he still would have wanted the points. Kickoff made by the number 10. Marshall takes in the kickoff. The back rower goes hard and straight. Pesamino on a good run. What a run, he just keeps going. Throws it on for the number one. Back on the inside to the lock. Watch him run. Not far away and really testing the defense now. It's a try. It was a good build-up here. I like the way they handled themselves. And they get some points as a result. Excellent work to get another in quick succession. 
He is highly rated and you can see why. Conversion coming up. Pretty important kick this one. Two points could make all the difference. This will be close, but I think it's going to go wide. So it's a tight match, and the try remains unconverted. Flutie just doesn't strike the ball well enough on occasions. Now the kickoff. Kickoff taken in by Marcel. Putting his foot down now. Flutie fighting his way forward. Mai gets the ball away. That was a forward pass. When he looks back, he will realise he's made a horrible mistake. Well, have a look at this. Now we'll have a scrum. Fierce contest in the scrum so far. How will they cope this time? Gunga puts it in. Both teams putting pressure on. Ball is out now. Halfback takes the ball. Carsten passes inside. The first 5 8 tries the fend, but just too strong for him. Gets it off to the number 12. And the penalty comes. They were clearly in front there, and he's caught them. Well, just have a look here. That's a hard decision when the guy's marginally just offside, but it's not going to be tolerated. The first 5 8 has the kick for touch. So it's not over the touchline. He's made a bit of a mess of it. Li'i Palu cutting out his teammates. That's the offloading skill we love to see. Anybody's ball here. Ball turned over. The turnover came from a good piece of work by the tight head prop. Yep, totally agree. Pass goes to Kruger. Oh, cutout pass. This will be a try for sure. The number 12 scores, and that's going to leave an easy kick to come. Just breaking through the line with amazing gas, and the finishing was superb. Outstanding try. There's a real excited buzz around the crowd here. Next up, we'll have the conversion. This should turn into an easy seven points with the conversion. Flags are up. 24-18. This could be the turning point here, but it's still anybody's game. So the kickoff is made. Kickoff fielded by the number 14. And down he goes in the tackle. Ball pops back for Kmai. Gives it to Best. Inside pass. And that's a good tackle. Mai gets it away. Promising run this. 
Maso finally tackled. Now there's a chance. Mai picks it up. The number 11 now just 10 metres away. He's tackled and taken into touch. One against the throw. Breaks through. Mai is close to the try line. Good chance here. That pass finds the loose head prop. Oh, and he's messed up the chance as he drops the ball forward. Referee playing advantage. I think they just overplayed it on that occasion. Just trying to force opportunities that weren't there. The handling errors are something I suspect they'll be looking at after this match. They're simply far too high. Two minutes remaining. And it's not the best line out, in fact it's lost. The second rower going the wrong way here. The number three races away. This match just about over here. And that should be called high, it is. I think this might be a yellow card here. Here's the replay. Good decision. The contact was too high and they'll take the penalty. If successful, this will increase the margin to more than seven. There's a lot of pressure on this one if you look at the scoreboard. The first five lines this one up. This might just sail wide. So it's not over and play continues. Yeah, fantastic catch to secure the ball there. The left winger brings it up. The lock brought down now. And he's out of the tackle. Mai bursts through another. Flicks to Clevy. Ruck forming. Possible turnover here. They've turned it over. Beautifully done. They were banking on getting this back. And now they have from the turnover. The second five goes inside. And he's too strong for the number 13. A respectable game of rugby. There were too many penalties conceded in this game. That's a pretty telling statistic. The skipper, he was a workhorse today. His tackling was outstanding. Until next time, it's bye from us.